The movie begins with a girl cooking a luxurious breakfast. She is blonde and looks bright, with her hair up in a ponytail. She chops up bell peppers and grates cheese. She makes an omelet with bacon and vegetables. She seems happy with her breakfast. However, instead of eating the breakfast herself, she puts the plate on the floor and calls her dog, Radar. She pets Radar and tells him to enjoy his breakfast. She gets ready for the day, but instead of eating breakfast herself, she puts a nutrition bar in her pocket. She grabs a leash and puts it on Radar after he's done with his breakfast. Then, she takes Radar for a walk. She goes to the park, where she meets up with a shorter girl who is also blonde and has the same blonde hair and blue eyes as Alex. This is Sarah, Alex's sister. They happily greet each other and walk in the park. Sarah scolds her sister for eating nothing but a nutrition bar for breakfast and for taking more care of her dogs than herself. Alex brushes her off, saying it saves her time. Sarah tells her she should go out and look for a man, but Alex is more focused on her work than anything else. They see a man in a tan suit carrying a little black dog. The dog growls at him and jumps out of his arms. The man starts to run after him, yelling, Simon. Along the way, the dog wreaks havoc on the park. He destroys everyone's food and picnics. People shout annoyedly, and Simon stumbles and falls in chase at the dog, apologizing to everyone along the way. The dog, Simon, grabs someone's picnic quilt and pulls it with him. Alex and Sarah laugh at the man, thoroughly enjoying his misery. As the dog runs towards Alex, she looks at the dog strictly and yells, Sit. The dog immediately stops running and sits. The man quickly picks up the dog and thanks Alex for her help. She explains to the man that it's essential to show the dog some boundaries to make it well-behaved. The man says the dog isn't his but a friend's. She jokingly says he should try saying, Simon says sit. She says dogs are only as comfortable with people as they are with themselves. She asks the dog's name, and the man tells her it's Simon. By unfortunate coincidence, his name is also Simon. Alex introduces herself and tells him she is a professional dog trainer. After giving the advice, she says goodbye to both Simons and leaves. At the same time, Simon's friend, Chloe, shows up. She thanks him for caring for her dog, and Simon repeats what Alex said about dogs to impress her. Chloe is impressed. He gives Simon back to Chloe and then goes to work. At work, Simon meets up with his friend, Malcolm. Malcolm offers him a coffee, but Simon says he has already grabbed one. So instead, he holds a file under his friend's arm and reads whatever is in it. Malcolm asks if he is trying to impress Chloe again. Simon says he was not going out of his way, he just bumped into her. After Malcolm's skeptical comments, he says he wants a chance with her, but her dog keeps getting in the way. Jokingly, Malcolm says he doesn't need dating advice, he needs a dog trainer. An idea hits Simon, and he takes the coffee he had refused before and quickly leaves his office. He realizes he needs a dog trainer, and Alex is the only one he knows. Simon reaches Alex's house, which she is just leaving with some earphones in her ears. He tries to call her, but when she doesn't listen, he reaches over and touches her arm. This shocks Alex, and she flinches with her arm, which causes Simon's coffee to fall all over her clothes. He apologizes, and Alex recognizes him and annoyedly asks him what he wants. Simon explains that he followed her home, but then he realizes what he just said and stumbles over his words, trying to correct himself. He tells Alex he wants her to teach him how to train a dog. She is skeptical and asks him why. He replies that he would like the dog he had earlier to be his someday. Alex thinks he wants to steal the dog and denies him, but he insists and tells her to think about it. He looks at the horrible flyers in her hand. They are to try to get the dogs at Alex's shelter new homes. He promises her better flyers for the dogs in exchange for her help. Alex ignores him and keeps walking, leaving him behind. Alex reaches the park, where she meets Sarah again. Sarah is teaching a yoga class, and she asks if her big sister is finally going to join her. Alex smiled and said she wanted to see her little sister before her next client. Sarah is a little disappointed that her sister won't do anything for her health, but understands her obligation. She tells Alex to eat something other than her nutrition bars. They both stand at a food truck, and the woman at the food truck gives Alex a note from Simon. Sarah suspects a romance, but Alex tells her sister about Simon, who asks her for help. She doesn't like that he's using a dog to get a girl, but Sarah tells her that she should help him. It's not like Alex to deny someone, so she agrees and tells Sarah she has to go. Meanwhile, Simon is having a horrible time at Chloe's place. He brought Chloe flowers, but little Simon took the flowers in his mouth and would not let go. The flower petals scattered all over the house as Simon chased the dog, with Chloe telling him to stop because he was upsetting the dog. After the horrible incident, Chloe told Simon to leave, even though he told her he had made reservations for a fantastic restaurant. Upset about his failure, Simon leaves Chloe's house only to bump into Alex again. She sees his ruined suit and the torn flowers and asks him how bad it is. She guesses that Simon brought the girl flowers but didn't bring the dog anything. Simon seems surprised that she knows that and admits that this is why he asked for help. Alex tells him constantly to get a treat for the dog, so whenever he goes over again, the dog will start to associate him with good things. Simon raises his brow playfully and asks if they have just had their first lesson. Alex tries to deny it, but Simon has already seen his note in her pocket. 
With a cocky smile, he tells her that she wouldn't still have this note if she wasn't considering teaching him. After some banter, Alex agrees to give him official lessons in exchange for good flyers to get the shelter dogs good homes. Alex and Simon take Radar to a secluded road near the forest for the first lesson. It is a silent place, very sunny, calm, and peaceful. Alex asks whether he is ready for his first lesson. Simon says he's not there for a personal trainer, and Alex shoots back that he needs a life coach, not a personal trainer. She explains that 15% of dogs are shy, and like humans, they need to be introduced to new situations. A place with fewer people and no noise is perfect for keeping the dog calm and getting him to familiarize himself with you. She tells him to be himself and to be comfortable with himself because dogs like a person who is trustworthy and whom they can trust. She instructs him to pet Radar and to be himself when he does it. He sighs and crouches down to pet Radar. Radar seems to like him, and Simon also enjoys petting him. She explains to him that being with a dog is a partnership, and Simon looks like he's beginning to understand. The next day, Sarah calls Alex. Alex looks busy with files in her hands and bags on her shoulders. Alex asks Sarah what's up, and Sarah sadly reminds Alex that it's their dad's birthday. She comforts Alex and tells her that she doesn't have to cry or be upset, but it doesn't mean they can't acknowledge that it's his birthday. Alex agrees but says she hates that there's always something to remind her of her father, who left his family. She says she needs to pretend she's okay, even if she isn't. It's the only way she can keep going. In front of Alex, a father is sitting with his two daughters, who look just like the younger versions of Alex and Sarah. Alex tells Sarah that it was hard on her, too, even if she was just three years old. But Sarah grew up to be excellent, so she doesn't need anyone but Sarah and Radar. Sarah says that is incredibly cheesy, and Alex laughs. She tells Sarah she loves her and then hangs up. However, the sadness on her face remains. On the other hand, Simon has taken Chloe out to the same road by the forest with Simon, her dog. He grabs his leash while Chloe asks him if he's taking her to some VIP concert. Simon says no and then explains that he thought Simon would be nervous in a crowded place. So, he brought him here, somewhere quiet and where he could get to know him better. Midway through the conversation, Simon realizes he sounds stupid and tells Chloe that bringing her there was a bad idea. Instead of being upset or disappointed, she says she appreciates that he thought of Simon and got them there. As the chemistry improves, black flies appear, and Chloe says she is allergic to their bites. So, all three run out of there to avoid fatal catastrophes. Alex sits with Jacob, a vet who also volunteers at the shelter she volunteers at. He looks in his early 30s and has dark hair and brown eyes. She looks at all the flyers he printed for her and thanks him for doing that. He says it's no problem. She looks at one of the flyers with a dog named Rusty and asks if he'll find a home. Jacob comforts her by telling her no one could deny that cute face. Simon ends up at her house just then and sarcastically repeats Alex's words, telling him just to be himself. Alex looks down from the terrace she's sitting on and calls him up. Simon climbs the stairs only to find the unwelcome addition. Jacob. Simon and Jacob shake hands, but the level of testosterone and competition is high, making them uncomfortable. Alex explains that Simon's romantic issues are with a dog. Instead of asking for details, Jacob left them to it. Simon asks if they should be talking about his love life or hers and asks Alex about her love life because it is evident that Jacob likes her. Simon tells her that the nature date didn't go well. Alex says she is a dog training expert, not a dating expert like she has already told him. Simon asks if dating will ever be her plan, and Alex says she wants to focus on her life. Simon suggests that she should date people. But Alex wants to spend time with her unconditionally loving dog, Radar. Taking his advice under advisement, she says she needs to hand in the flyers Jacob had printed for her. Simon says he'll join her. He looks at one of the flyers and says Rusty will be homeless for the rest of his life. Alex asked what was wrong with it, and Simon told her to post it online, not on trees. He reads out the gory details of the dog's arthritis and told her no one would buy the dog with such conditions. He rephrases the things about the dog to sound better, and Alex admits it does sound good. He then invites her to dinner. When she shows him the power bar, Simon is disappointed and tells her to meet him at 7 o'clock at the perfect place. Evening comes, and they go to an amazing little truck named Diego's Sandwiches. Alex criticizes him a bit for exchanging her power bars for sandwiches. Simon meets his friend Diego, who asks how and where he's been. After asking her, Simon talks to him and orders two originals and a spicy one for Alex. Diego brings their sandwiches and sits by them, waiting for their reaction. When both of them moan at the taste of the sandwich, Diego laughs, satisfied. He then asks if Alex is Simon's date, and both Alex and Simon turn flustered at this, while Simon tells Diego awkwardly that she is his dog trainer. Finally, Diego understands the situation, tells them to enjoy the food in Spanish, and leaves. After eating the sandwich, they get ice cream, and Simon asks Alex how she feels about eating human food. Alex laughs with him, and sparks fly between them as they reach her porch. Simon told her earlier how Chloe's dog Simon likes him now, and he thanks her. They look into each other's eyes for a bit and then bid each other goodnight. 
The next day, Malcolm and Simon sit together in a meeting to discuss the dog food advertising they must do. Their clients want a rebrand, and they want a sleek and aspirational look. They finalize the photo shoot, and they decide they have to try to give the company exactly what they want. For their next session, Simon meets Alex at her shelter. He brings coffee and tells her he's learned to get treats. Alex playfully says she's a good boy, and Simon looks confused about it. He runs into the shelter with her. They meet with Jen and Jacob, and Alex introduces them to Simon. Jen tells them the top is about to be sold by the owner by the end of the month, and they don't have enough time to get all the dogs into good homes by then. Alex and Jacob look worried, too. Simon suggests that they buy the shelter. Jen laughs and says she wishes she could but doesn't have that kind of money. Simon means that they hold an auction for cash to buy the shelter. Alex says she can't ask that of him, but he tells them about the company that needs rebranding for their dog food. He thinks he can make some calls for them, and the auction would be a win-win. Everyone seems happy about it except Jacob, who doesn't like Simon. The decision is finalized, and they start work on it. Simon goes to Chloe's place afterward, where little Simon sits at his feet. Simon brings him a treat and pets him. Chloe notices and looks happy about it. She deals with her client and then comes to talk to Simon. They take a walk together and get some coffee. She is impressed that Simon is so calm and such a good boy around him. For their next session, Alex takes Simon to a cliff. Simon is afraid of heights. Alex tells him to stay calm and think about what a little dog feels when he's around so many people and threats of the world. This is why a dog needs help from its owner, and they need to be able to trust its owner. She tells him not to look down and look at her. She tells him to give the dog a treat to offer comfort. Instead of a treat, she gives Simon her hand. Then, she helps him calm down. She puts her hand on his heart and feels it slow down. Simon says he still doesn't understand why she had to bring him to a place like this for dog training lessons. After the dog training lessons, Simon goes to his office and starts the photo shoot. While the photo shoot is happening, both Simon and Malcolm notice that the photos look bland. Simon has an idea and immediately texts Alex, who is busy grooming both Radar and a furry little dog. She looks at the readers, and when Simon asks her to be there with the dogs and do the photo shoot, she agrees. She shows Sarah the texts, encouraging them to be together, but Alex brushes it off, saying they're just friends. Alex shows up to the photo shoot with Radar and a dog named Ziggy. She says the dogs would be uncomfortable in the foreign environment, but Simon knows it's her who's uncomfortable. He introduces her to the photographers and Malcolm, who all say hello. Without further ado, they start to do the photo shoot, but the photographs still seem bland. So, Simon and Alex improvise and start playing with the dogs. The energy of the photo shoot feels so much better, but so does their chemistry, and Malcolm notices. After the shoot, he talks to Alex alone and hints that she would look good with Simon. Unfortunately, he doesn't get to finish because, just then, Simon comes over and asks if he should walk Alex home. Alex initially disagrees, but Malcolm insists she let Simon walk them, so she agrees. To let off some steam, Simon takes her to an axe-throwing place. She is surprised but goes in with him. However, it is clear that Alex is not good at axe-throwing, and Simon teases her about it before trying to help her. He stands behind her, quite close, and explains how to hold the axe and angle her body. But she can't focus on anything with his face that close. Their eyes flicker to each other's lips, and the sparks flow between them again. Then, under the intense pressure of the situation, Simon says her name, and their lips are just about to touch when Alex drops the axe to the floor, and they both jump apart. Alex makes an excuse about the shelter and leaves. Alex goes home and immediately calls for Radar. When Radar doesn't come to greet her, Alex calls again. She notices his dog food hasn't been touched. She goes to find that Radar is lying on his bed and whimpering. He looks like she hasn't gotten up from there all day. In a panic, Alex calls Sarah and Jacob but neither of them picks up, so as a last resort, she calls Simon and asks to borrow his car because hers is at the shop. He immediately drives to her place, and they take Radar to the vet, Jacob. Jacob assists them and tells Alex that Radar has a cyst on his stomach that may need surgery. Simon and Alex wait until the end of the surgery at the vet. Then, they fall asleep on each other's shoulders. Jacob comes out after the surgery and is displeased to find them in that position. He wakes them with a loud cough and informs them that Radar is all right. He tells Alex that he'll keep Radar overnight and then drop himself at her place. Alex thanks him and gives him a big hug. This is when Simon's jealousy arises as he doesn't like seeing Alex so close to Jacob. Simon also shakes his hand and thanks him. Jacob goes back inside, and Simon gets a call from Chloe. Alex sees it and says she can walk home alone. She feels jealous of Chloe but doesn't want to admit it. Even though Simon tells her he can ignore the call, she walks out. He feels terrible but can't do anything about it and lets her go. The next day, Jacob returns Radar with a brace on her neck and assures Alex that he'll be alright. Meanwhile, Simon goes shopping at a vintage store with Chloe. She babbles on about how vintage things inspire her fashion. Simon notices that he doesn't feel anything for Chloe and doesn't have any chemistry with her. So when Chloe asks when he is thinking about her, he blurts out Alex's name. He quickly explains about the auction and fundraiser for the dogs, and Chloe says she could inspire some of their guests 
to donate if she was there. Simon appreciates this and tells her she has to go to help Alex set up for the fundraiser. At his office, Malcolm nudges him about Alex, and Sarah encourages her to think about Simon and their chemistry together at Alex's place. At this point, everyone but these two can see that they've fallen for each other. Simon has inspired her to eat natural meals, and Alex has inspired Simon to be brave. Both of them deny it and go back to thinking about the fundraiser. The next day, Simon shows Alex the fundraiser arrangements, and she is happy and thanks him again. Simon tells her what the people want at a fundraiser. They want food, drinking, and dancing. He extends his hand to her to dance, and she takes it. They dance, and it's fun and perfect for a moment. Then Simon asks about Radar, which brings up Jacob. This causes tension to fill the room. Simon praises him for taking care of Radar. Alex, in turn, asks about Chloe, and Simon tells her she'll be there as his date. Alex feels hurt, and when Simon asks about Jacob and her coming to the fundraiser as a date, she says they will. Simon says he thought she didn't date, and she blurts the truth about her father. Simon apologizes and tells her she shouldn't miss out on love just because of her father. Their conversation turns into an argument, and Simon ends up saying he doesn't need a dog trainer anymore. Alex agrees and tells him to get over with the fundraiser, and then they can go their separate ways. Simon tries to stop her, but it's too late. For the next few days, both Simon and Alex are depressed. Malcolm and Sarah ask them, but they don't answer. They quietly prepare for the fundraiser. Finally, the day comes, and the same day, Sarah tells Alex she got engaged to her fiancé, Jeremy. Alex congratulates them, and Sarah gives Alex a confession when Jeremy leaves. She tells her that it was never easy for her to open up after their father left. She always hid it, but it was the same with her. Alex says she never thought Sarah felt like that. They both promise to support each other, and Sarah tells Alex to be brave and open herself up to love. Jacob comes to pick Alex up, and he compliments her on how beautiful she looks in her blue dress. She praises him too, and they go to the fundraiser together. At the fundraiser, Alex greets Jen and all the other people before her eyes fall upon Simon and Chloe coming in. Of course, it hurts her to see Simon again, but she happily meets Chloe, who praises Alex for her help with little Simon. Alex and Simon joke about something, and their chemistry is so evident that even Chloe notices. Despite everything, the auctioning and fundraising go to plan. Chloe charms the guests and encourages them to the auction and donations. Simon and Alex do their best to accommodate the guests. At the end of the event, Alex announces that they have successfully raised enough money to buy the dog shelter, so the dogs would have enough time to find good homes. Everyone celebrates their fantastic success, and they thank Simon for the fundraiser. After the event, Chloe breaks up with Simon. She tells him she knows he has fallen in love with Alex, and she cares about him, but she deserves someone who can love her. Simon is a little upset but knows it's for the best. Simon meets Alex at the door, just as she is about to leave. He tells her how he feels. He tells her that she taught him to be brave and that he needed more help than the dog, and she gave him that help. He is unable to finish, as Jacob spots them talking and decides to interfere. Alex goes with Jacob and thanks Simon for the fundraiser. Simon asks her if she wants to say something, but Alex just says she really wants him to enjoy the rest of the evening. Later, Sarah walks up to her sister, gets her hot dog, and sits with her. Alex tells her it was unfair of her to invite Jacob as her date when she had no feelings for him. Sarah tells her that it would be no problem for him because he's a handsome vet. He'll find someone else. Alex tells Sarah about all the things Simon said. Sarah tells her big sister to follow her heart. Simon and Alex had fallen for each other and Sarah made Alex realize that. She also told her that Simon had broken up with Chloe two hours ago. This put the final piece of the puzzle into place. The next day, Alex invites Simon to the cliff to talk. Simon comes and asks her why it is necessary to talk on a cliff because it still scares him. Alex tells him that heights don't scare her, but telling someone that she cares does. She tells him everything. She tells him that he is smart and funny and kind and caring. He is a good man. He tells her everything about her, like the way she likes space food and doesn't know how to ask for help or take compliments. He tells her that she is the most beautiful person he has ever met, and that he is in love with her. Alex tells him that she's in love with him too. Their pent-up emotions burst out, and they can no longer hold them in. They kiss. In the near future, Simon will adopt Ziggy. Alex and Simon start dating. Simon brings flowers to his new girlfriend and partner. Alex jokingly says, good boy, Simon, when he calls Ziggy his new partner, second only to Alex.